A quick note, this video is going to be about how to use Siri shortcuts to set a sleep timer and this only works on iPhones that can run iOS 12 or later. Does this ever happen to you? After a busy day, you're finally about to rest and you want to listen to your favorite music and relax while you go to sleep. You take out your phone, play your sleep playlist and fall asleep. And when you wake up the next morning, your phone is either still playing or your battery is completely drained out. There is a better and much more efficient way to do this. That is using Siri shortcuts. This works the best if you're using Apple Music. And even if you're using any other music streaming platform on your iPhone, I think this this is still a better way to set up a sleep timer. So I suggest that you watch the video till the end. If you've never heard about Siri shortcuts before, they are basically a list of custom commands that you can execute with just one tap of a button or simply by asking Siri. And just a reminder guys, this is not some sort of a jailbreak or a hack that can cause harm to your phone. This is an official feature that Apple introduced in iOS 12. This only works if you have an iPhone or an iPad and you need to be using either Apple Music, Spotify or Amazon Music. Speaking of Apple Music and Spotify, a video comparing them both is coming really soon. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that you'll be notified when the video comes out. If you use some other streaming service other than these three, you can still watch this video as the process should be the same for every streaming platform. Let's get into it. Once you finish setting up the shortcut on your iPhone, simply ask Siri to run sleep time. Siri will automatically start playing your playlist, dim your screen, turn on low power mode and will automatically stop playing playing once the time runs out. If you're not using Apple Music, Siri will automatically direct you to the music app of your choice and you can tap on play from there. Pretty cool, right? Now let's see how we can make this work on your iPhone. There are four steps to making this work and they are really simple. First, you need to go to the music app that you use and create a playlist that you want Siri to play. If you don't have a sleep playlist already, just make a playlist of 10 to 15 songs for now and adding more songs to your playlist later shouldn't be a problem. Once this is done, Done, go to the app store and search for shortcuts and install it. We need to run a test shortcut to make sure that everything works the way it should. Once you finish installing the app, open the app and go to gallery. It doesn't really matter which one you choose as this is a test run to make sure that your iPhone can run third party shortcuts. But it is important that you let the shortcut run without any interruptions midway. I'll simply pick this one, scroll down and tap on add shortcut. Now go to my shortcuts and tap on the shortcut to run it. You don't really need this shortcut to do anything in specific. This is just a test run to enable access to third-party shortcuts like the one we are using today. Now go to settings and scroll down to shortcuts. In the shortcuts menu, turn on allow untrusted shortcuts. Once you finish doing this, go to the description box. There you'll find two links, one for Apple Music and another for every other streaming platform. If you're using Apple Music for this, click on the link that says Apple Music. And if you're using any other streaming service, use the link under other streaming platforms. Once you click Click on the link, you'll automatically be directed to the shortcuts app. Now scroll down and tap on add untrusted shortcut. You'll be directed to this menu to configure the shortcut. If you have downloaded the shortcut for Apple Music, this is what you'd be seeing. From here, tap on music and you'll be directed to Apple Music. Now go to playlist and choose the playlist that you've made in step one. If you have downloaded a shortcut for other streaming services, you'll get this screen asking you to paste a URL of your playlist. Go home, open your streaming app and go to to the playlist that you've made in step one. Tap on the menu and click on share. From here, copy the link. Now go back to the shortcuts app and paste it where it says URL and hit continue. Then next, you'll be asked to set the volume that you want your iPhone to play during your sleep time. Set a level that suits your listening environment. After that, choose how long you want the music to be played. I'll just put in one minute for now and then click done. Tap on my shortcuts below and you should find a shortcut named sleep time there. Tap on it and allow access. Go back home and ask Siri to run sleep time and you should be good to go. Once again, if you're using any other platform, Siri will open the app and you have to hit play manually. This is one extra step that unfortunately cannot be avoided. If you find the playback volume to be too loud or too soft, or if you want to change the playback duration, long press the shortcut and tap on details. Here, you'll find the option to customize the shortcut. You can go ahead and customize all the three options again if you want to. And that's all. And guys, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tech related content. And also share this video with your friends and family. Until next time.